to throw this in here real quick. Um, this is the side molding. This one actually goes driver side front behind the door. You can see how it's um, got that angle on it. Now this one already had the moldings here removed. Okay. Now the way you do that is you have these metal. They have these metal um, two-faced tape, I guess, things that are in here. Um, if you can see, I got. Usually I use a small torch, but I ended up having to use my acetylene torch. Just set it really low on um, like a welding tip. Because that's what I had to try to get it down. Now you can see where I pushed in with the screwdriver trying to pull this off, okay? But everything will pretty much smooth out. Everything straightens out. The best way to do this is usually get these. Um, as soon as you get on it with heat, they start to lift up a little bit. And then I just used a pair of needle nose and put my foot on the one side and just pulled them right off, okay? You can see where I had shoe marks. And every single one of these just lifted and came right off. Now, some people say with them not being there, these things will shrink down. Yes, it's possible. I've seen it, but some do, some don't. Um, but it gives you the opportunity to be able to reuse these if there's nothing wrong with them, okay? And that's what our goal is. So I'll come in here, I'll get this stuff cleaned up on the backside, clean this stuff off, obviously. And then I'm gonna work on sanding these down because I'm gonna be painting these so that I can get them reinstalled on the car. Um, like I thought about changing to black, but with the fact that you gotta paint front and rear bumpers, I was just like, well, you know, and take off and redo the door ones. Um, I just figured I'd just stay with these and spend that money somewhere else on the car, making something else nice. And just spend my time refinishing these. So all of these here came off just fine. All right. Like I said, once you put a little bit of heat on a smaller, um, uh, smaller torch, I forget what it's called. One you would use for like plumbing or something like that. That have a little tank. Um, works really good for this for a little propane torch. Um, you heat them up a little bit. You kind of want to watch. You don't melt your edges. Which was kind of hard with this, uh, being that it shot out so much temperature at one time. So, until I, I figured it out on the first one, you can see I did get a little warm right in here. These last two here came off really good because I figured it out by then. So, like I said, just put a little bit of heat on it. You'll see it'll start to lift up or you can try to pick underneath of the edge if, you don't, if you're worried about getting too much heat. But the nicest thing then is what you want to do is you want to flip them over if they're still warm. You could probably even use a heat gun if you needed to. Um, I haven't tried that, so I don't know how that would work. Now, I'll probably try to heat gun this and get this to straighten out just a little bit. But ideally, like if you have a nice hot hot summer day, today might work. I don't know. Um, set these on like concrete or metal or something, and they'll actually just, they'll, they'll get really soft where you can bend them all over the place. Um, and they'll actually straighten themselves out. So... If, if that's the way you're doing it, set them on something warm, they'll flatten themselves out. And then you can come back and pick them up and set them on something cool that's flat. And then they'll harden back into where they need to be. And nice and straight. And then you can sand them down and smooth them, or sand them down and paint them. Or if they are unpainted, you can just reinstall them then right away. So, all right. I'm busy prepping these taillights, which is not fun. Um, it looked like these were cleared at one time. Uh, my plan is to tape these off, base this, pull the tape, and just clear everything. That way, all of this stays nice looking for a long time, and you don't see as much of a lip also. So, well, here's to spending some time getting this done. Uh, I'll probably just show you guys the finished product once it's painted and in. Um, I'm just going to throw this in probably in another video or the beginning of this one. And we're getting some stuff painted. And we still have a lot to do. Alright, well, we just laid some clear on here. And I can tell you right now, we have perfect temperature for paint. So, we've got everything pretty much laid out. Um, man, I'm just, I'm not happy with how this right here is. And then I got a bug. But... I mean, they're going to look all right. I'll just have to sand them down a little bit maybe and hand buff them in some spots. Um, they're going to be really nice once they finally get on. 
and taped on the car it's going to fill in the holes and it's going to look a lot better once it's all together the tail lights man spot on spot on there's a couple spots like that might be not perfect where i taped off um i could have went back and like maybe touched it up with a brush but you know there's always the option to go to an lx tail light um if i so desire when the time comes but yeah i'm curious to see what they look like in the car i still gotta find my lock <laughs>